Welcome! In this video tutorial, we are going to demonstrate how to safely fold your 750 series foldy trailer. This tutorial will include two separate procedures. One for quick folding your foldy trailer without removing the sidewalls. Another for folding your foldy trailer with the removal of the sidewalls. Before we get started, we want to communicate some important safety precautions that you need to be aware of. Most of these precautions are common sense, but it's important that you pay attention to them and keep them in mind whenever you are folding or unfolding your trailer. Under no circumstances should you attempt to fold the foldy trailer on a slope. When folding the trailer, the center of gravity of the trailer is raised and becomes unstable when at an angle. This will result in the trailer falling over. The trailer weighs approximately 200 kilograms and may cause severe injury should it fall onto you or someone else. Therefore, for your own safety and the safety of others, you must only fold your foldy trailer on a horizontal stable surface free of debris. You must never leave your foldy trailer to rest in the vertical position unsupported. While the foldy trailer will stand stable on a horizontal floor when undisturbed, it must either rest up against a wall in its final resting position or be strapped down on the specifically designed foldy mover cart in order to prevent it from tipping over should anyone bump or knock into it. The mover carts are sold as separate accessories and used to wheel the foldy trailer through narrow doorways. Finally, never attempt moving the foldy trailer when it is in the vertical or near vertical position. This will result in the foldy trailer tipping over. To move the trailer when in the semi-folded position, the tow arm must extend at least one meter from the trailer. With these important safety precautions in mind, let's proceed. Procedure 1. Quick folding your foldy trailer without sidewall removal. We recommend you use this procedure for folding your trailer whenever possible. Folding your foldy trailer without removal of the sidewalls provides the following benefits. Firstly, this procedure is the quickest, making it ideal for fast, regular use of your foldy trailer. Secondly, it offers the highest level of safety and stability when the trailer is stored in the vertical position. Of course, there is a trade-off you need to consider. That is, there is an increased space requirement because the sidewalls of the foldy trailer increase the footprint of the trailer by an additional 30 centimeters when it is in the vertical position. We start by loosen the ring bolt on the nose wheel and extend the arm forward. The trailer is well balanced and can be easily lifted. If the lifting feels heavy, ensure there is no load on the cargo bay and if necessary, have somebody help lift the trailer for this task. Please do not strain your back trying to lift the trailer. Once the nose wheel is extended, reinsert the ring bolt and fasten the nose wheel arm. Then lower the tow arm to let the foldy trailer rest on the tow arm. Now locate the tow arm security bolt on the tow arm and remove it by loosening the ring nut and pulling the bolt out. You may let the securing bolt dangle temporarily by its chain. Next, lift the trailer to create an angle between the cargo bay and tow arm. Then reinsert the security bolt back through the holes on the cargo bay bracket and thread the ring nut partially to hold the bolt in place. At the rear of the trailer, check that the wire clips or loops of the safety bolts at the tailgate are folded flat against the trailer before you start folding the trailer. If the bolts are tight, release the rear tailgate latches to release the tension on them. Remember to close the latches again once the safety bolt clips are in the correct position. You may now proceed in folding your trailer by turning the ratchet crank handle clockwise to raise the trailer off its wheels. Stop rotating the crank handle when the trailer has been raised approximately 45 degrees off the floor. 
As per our safety precautions, do not raise the trailer to the vertical or near vertical position unless the trailer is at the final storage location which must be against a wall. Now push the trailer back towards the wall where it will be stored. Leave about 60 centimeters or 24 inches of space between the small tilting wheels at the rear and the wall. Once the foldy trailer has been positioned, continue to turn the crank handle, raising the trailer up to the near vertical position. Do not fully raise the trailer yet. Finalize your foldy trailer's position by pushing it up against the wall. Then turn the ratchet crank handle until the toe arm is in the fully closed position. This will secure the trailer in its resting position against the wall. You can now safely park your car in front of your foldy trailer. Procedure 2. Folding your foldy trailer with the removal of the sidewalls. Firstly, the procedure is similar to the previous one, but requires additional steps and more attention to safety when completing the folding and unfolding action. Therefore, it takes more time. Secondly, the space requirement for storage is reduced to a minimum because the sidewalls of the trailer are now folding flat and do not increase the vertical footprint. Lastly, this procedure is ideal when your foldy trailer is not used too often or you have limited garage space. We start by unlatching all the sidewalls and folding the left and right sidewalls down so that they are lying flat on the cargo bay deck. Let the front and rear sidewalls hang on by their hinges. Now, remove the front and rear sidewalls by pulling the safety bolts out from the sidewall hinges. Then place the front and rear sidewalls between the left and right folded down sidewalls as shown. The front and rear sidewalls should both lie neatly within the left and right sidewalls. To finalize their position, align the hooks of the front and rear sidewalls with the hinges at the front of the trailer. Then insert the two safety bolts through the front hinges and fasten the safety clip to hold the front and rear sidewalls in place. With the remaining two safety bolts, align the hinges of the bottom and top sidewalls and then insert them, securing the safety clips. This will ensure the sidewalls remain flat and safely secured on the foldy trailer's cargo deck when the trailer gets raised to the vertical position. With the sidewalls folded down and secured, we can proceed with folding the trailer. Loosen the ring bolt on the nose wheel and extend the arm forward. Once the nose wheel is extended, reinsert the ring bolt and fasten the nose wheel arm. Then lower the toe arm to let the foldy trailer rest on the toe arm. Again, if the trailer feels heavy, have someone help lift the trailer. Now locate the toe arm security bolt on the toe arm and remove it by loosening the ring nut and pulling the bolt out. You may let the securing bolt dangle temporarily by its chain. Next, lift the trailer to create an angle between the cargo bay and tow arm. Then reinsert the security bolt back through the holes on the cargo bay bracket and thread the ring nut partially to hold the bolt in place. You may now proceed in folding your trailer by turning the ratchet crank handle clockwise to raise the trailer off its wheels. Stop rotating the crank handle when the trailer has been raised approximately 45 degrees off the floor. As per our safety precautions, do not raise the trailer to the vertical or near vertical position unless the trailer is at the final storage location which must be against a wall. Now push the trailer back towards the wall where it will be stored. Leave about 30 centimeters or 12 inches of space between the trailer's rear tilting wheels and the wall. Once the foldy trailer has been positioned, continue to turn the crank handle, raising the trailer up to the near vertical position. 
Do not fully raise the trailer yet. Finalize your foldy trailer's position by pushing it up against the wall. Then turn the ratchet crank handle until the toe arm is in the fully closed position. This will secure the trailer in its resting position against the wall. You can now safely park your car in front of your foldy trailer. For more tutorials on the foldy trailer and its accessories, please click on one of the video links below.